At noon, the fight has intensified against an invasive hornet that could threaten the Georgia crops we eat. The state agriculture commissioner revealed the new efforts to eliminate the yellow-legged hornet. Fox News' Tyler Fingert is live with details on that plan. Tyler. Yeah, Alex, good afternoon to you. The yellow-legged hornet is just about an inch long, but its small size can cause quite the problem for bees. We're in the backyard in Decatur of a local beekeeper's house. You can see all the honeybees hard at work at this hour. The hornet, which isn't native to the U.S., was first spotted in the Savannah area last month and can put each one of these bees at risk if the hornet makes its way to the Atlanta area. Agriculture officials here in Georgia... destroyed a second yellow-legged hornet's nest under a bridge on Wilmington Island near Savannah. Experts say the insect could threaten honey production, native pollinators, and other parts of our state's agriculture industry if allowed to establish here. The Agriculture Department says it is trapping and tracking the hornets using a variety of methods to find nests. Officials say this new nest wasn't reproducing yet, which is good news in the fight to get rid of the hornets here. It's unclear how the hornets got to Georgia, whether it was by a Container ship or some other way, but scientists have determined the hornets came from Asia. This is a different type of hornet uh, and can have detrimental impacts on our agricultural industry, which in turn translates into, uh, into issues that the consumers could see. We're using all the technologies and all the tools available to fight this, uh, and education and public um, outreach and the public's involvement is going to be very, very key uh, to our success in this. Scientists plan to start putting electronic trackers on newly captured hornets to hopefully lead them to other nests. The first native invasive hornet was spotted by a Savannah area beekeeper and officials ask anyone who spots one to report it to them. And we have all of those details on our website, fox5atlanta.com. So if you spot one, you can report it. But for now, really all of the sightings of these invasive hornets have been found in the Savannah area, haven't made their way other places yet. But agriculture officials are really monitoring that. And if you spot one, you're asked to let them know so that they're able to continue to try to eradicate the pests here. And Alex, I'll mention, I am testing my fate, not having a veil on so close to one of these nests, but I'm told I'm going to be okay. We are live in Decatur this afternoon. Tyler Finger, Fox 5 News. Yeah, Tyler.